What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Once again, another iOS 13 official version came out and this one is actually 13.1.3. Now, this wasn't a crazy huge update. It didn't bring any like crazy features. It didn't bring anything that you know, you're gonna go tell your mom about. All it really brought was bug fixes and I say that in like a pessimistic tone and I don't even mean it. Bug fixes are super, super important and every time Apple releases a just like a bug fix update, I get so happy and this update, it was only like 80 megabytes so it wasn't that big coming from 13.1.2. If you're coming from 13 or 12.1 or something like that, it's going to be a massive update. But if you're coming from already an iOS 13 version, it's not going to be too big. Now in terms of the overall features, everything is still exactly the same on your 7 Plus. It's going to be perfectly fine, don't worry about it. But it did address a lot of the issues that a lot of people were having with previous versions of iOS 13. So I'm going to talk about the main ones. One of them was your phone maybe wasn't vibrating or ringing when you were getting a call. Now what's funny is on my iPhone success video, that actually ended up happening. I was getting a call when I was making that video and it wasn't vibrating or ringing except on my MacBook. My phone wasn't ringing though, which it usually does, but that ended up being fixed. So thank God for that. There's also some issues within the mail app. Now apparently there's more issues within the mail app, but that will be addressed later in later updates, but they've only fixed a certain few of them. Another slight issue that I wasn't having on my main phone, thank God, but the voice memos app, apparently people weren't able to download their iCloud saved voice memos onto their other machines. So not really too sure what was going on there, but Apple has since fixed that. So if you're going and recording something like, hey, what's up? And then you like stop and then you want to go download that from a different device. You can now still do that, which is, you know, really, really cool. I'm really happy about that. There are also some cases where apps wouldn't download from your iCloud account either. They also fixed an issue with 13.1.3, which I was also having that my Apple Watch was not syncing up with my phone. And now I switched to the iPhone 11 Pro just like a week ago. I came from my iPhone 10 and for some reason, my phone, my watch wasn't working and I had no idea why. And I wasn't getting notifications or anything, but it still said I was connected. And I would, I totally turned off my iPhone 10 and I would walk around everywhere. I would leave home and come back and then it would still not be showing me any notifications, which was so weird. You know, I've had Apple watches before. I know how these things work, but for some reason I wasn't getting it. And it ended up being fixed like the day after, but for some reason that issue was happening. So not really too sure what was going on there, but. At least they fixed that and some Bluetooth connectivity issues have been fixed too. So overall, a lot of bug fixes within this update. Like I said, it wasn't that big. It was pretty small at the core of it, but I like seeing these bug fix updates like I already stated. Now, I ran a benchmark and the score I was having before in the September update, September 10th, I don't even know why I stopped taking screenshots of them. I had a multi score score of 164,541 and I think I had a score of like 185,000, but I forgot to take a screenshot on here and I just reran it and that actually went up to 186,534. So even though I don't have one from the previous version, it was definitely an update, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, at least as far as I can remember, but the previous ones were 164,000. So at the end of the day, if you're only wanting to be on stock iOS, you don't want to jailbreak or anything, be on the highest version you can. They're usually the most stable. On my 7 Plus, I didn't really run into too many problems. My 7, I did kind of, but my 6S has been fine. The 7 Plus has been fine. So overall, I would tell you, update your iPhone 7 Plus to iOS 13.1.3. But if you're waiting for a jailbreak, obviously you stick to the lowest version you can. That way you can secure a jailbreak when it officially comes out. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.